don't think you can really go. Double. One enemy remaining. This is for Kingdom of Heroes. So much more like amazing Genshin Impact content. What's going on y'all, it's David or David with my very first build guide for Genshin Impact. If you do watch my videos, then you already know by now that Jean is my favorite character in this game. I chose her as my first build guide for multiple reasons. One, she was my first 5 star unit that I pulled and I've been using her ever since. I'm AR50 now and she's max companionship experience. Two. And three, because I have a good amount of gear that works on her, so why not use that to throw together a build video? In this video, I will be going over two different in-depth build guides for Jean. For each build, I will be covering what I think the best weapon is, as well as other viable options and other free-to-play options, the most optimal artifact set, as well as what main stats and what substats that you want to look for, what talents that you should focus on leveling up, any characters that are a must to pair with on your team, what area of the game the build is most effectively used in, and at the end of each build, I'll wrap it up by showing it to you in action. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started on my first and favorite build that I've been running on Jean for most of the time that I've had her, the Hybrid Healer. The Hybrid Healer is a best of both worlds build for Jean, where I basically get as much attack as I can to deal a lot of DPS while also healing a ton. The reason that you want a ton of attack percent is because her healing from her elemental burst and her normal attacks after Ascension 1 all heal based off of her attack stat, and well, because attack percent does give you more DPS. So keep in mind that attack percent is mega important while I go over this build. My weapon of choice for this build is the flute, because 1 the substat is bonus attack percent, and 2 because the ability of the flute deals a large amount of extra dps and also scales with attack percent. Also it matches Jean's color scheme to a T. Other viable options are the Favonia sword and the skyward blade. I don't have either of these unfortunately, so shoutouts to Genshin.gg because I will be using them for the weapons and stuff that I do not have. These two swords both give energy recharge instead of attack percent. These will lower your base healing values, but will give you more chances to elemental burst overall, which could actually increase your DPS and healing depending on how many elemental orbs that you can generate. The Favonius is good if you're using Jean as a sub DPS so she can collect energy while in your party, and the Skyward Blade is great for a main DPS Jean that stays on the field after using her burst. If you don't have any of these weapons, a great free to play option would be the Skyrider Sword, which also gives energy recharge percent, while also boosting your attack and movement speed after bursting, and if you're really unlucky and you don't have any of the aforementioned swords, or if you accidentally just got rid of them, you can use the prototype Rancor, because attacking with the sword will boost your attack value, which in turn will boost your healing. The way that this works is that attacking will build up a stack that increases your attack and defense, and since your attack is increased, then your healing ratio will go up slightly with each stack. For the artifact set, I firmly believe that the Gladiator 4 piece is the best for the specific build, because it gives you bonus attack percent and gives you the passive where you deal 35% more damage for being a sword character. Sure you can use like 2 piece Glad and 2 piece Noblesse or 2 piece Maiden, but you would be compromising your overall damage by a lot, which is only really okay if you're planning on using her as like a secondary DPS. For your Sands, Goblet, and Circlet slot, I recommend you use attack percent to boost your damage as well as your healing values. Most people will tell you to run either crit rate or crit damage on your Circlet to maximize your DPS, but if you took that over attack percent then you won't heal as much. They'll also tell you to run healing bonus on the circlet if you're looking to heal more, but then you wouldn't get the damage bonus that you would get from running attack percent. And for the goblet slot, same deal pretty much, some people will tell you that anemo damage is best here for the most DPS, but you'll be lowering your healing values and that's why I believe that attack percent is the best for all three slots on your artifacts. As for what substats you're really looking for, this build is extremely flexible and welcomes really any kind of substats, because tanky substats like HP% percent will help you stick around longer to heal, and DPS substats like crit rate and crit damage will help you DPS faster. That being said, I would prioritize attack percent first, then energy recharge percent, then base attack, and then the other percent values like HP percent and defense percent as well as crit rate and crit damage percent, and then finally the flat stats like flat HP and flat defense. The talents that you're looking for to level up in this build are pretty flexible. If you're planning on using this build as your main DPS like I have been, you're going to want to level up all three talents as much as possible. 
but if you're only planning on using this build as like a sub DPS, then you're really only looking to level up your elemental burst for the healing and maybe your elemental skill, but definitely definitely do not level up the basic attacks if you're not planning on using her as your main DPS. Any character that has some form of elemental damage works well with this build because Jean has the ability to deal a good amount of swirl elemental damage. On the other hand though, combining her with multiple other Anemo characters also helps because it'll help her spam her burst for the DPS and the healing. I take this build like really anywhere, it's super flexible and with Jean being an Anemo unit, you really can't go wrong taking her into any fight. I recommend using her in the Abyss especially because she helps swirl elemental reactions and is also a terrific healer. Here's a clip of me using her on floor 11 as my main healer and main DPS. The second build is the Nemo Burst build, where you fill more of a supportive role and only really come out to use your elemental burst and elemental skills for healing and damage boosting. This build focuses mainly on her elemental burst healing and reducing enemies resistances with your artifact set. My weapon of choice for this build is definitely the Skyward Blade, mainly because of the energy recharges it provides, but also because of all of the stat bonuses that you gain from bursting. The next best option is the Favonia Sword which also provides energy recharge but you'll gain even more energy from crits. Since I don't have either of these, I do use the Sacrificial Sword since it provides energy recharge as a substat. Just like the first build, the Skyrider Sword is a good enough alternative, giving you a good amount of energy recharge and a decent passive ability. However, unlike the first build, the artifact set is pretty much set in stone. The set that you want to be running 100% of the time for this build is the Viridescent Venerer 4 piece because of the bonuses that it provides. You gain a 15% boost to Anemo damage and your swirl damage is increased by 60% and on top of all of that, when you swirl with an element, you reduce the element's elemental resist to that element by 40% for 10 seconds. For example, if you use Bennett's elemental skill on the enemy to inflict them with Pyro and then you swap to Jean with the Venerer 4 piece and you use your elemental skill, it will deal Pyro Pyro, Anemo, Swirl damage, and then reduce their Pyro resist. You can probably tell that this build is extremely strong and necessary for like high DPS combos, and that's why you need the 4 piece set for this build. As for the Sands, the Goblet, and the Circlet slots, I would recommend Energy Recharge Percent on your Sands, Anemo Damage Percent on your Goblet, and Attack Percent on your Circlet. Energy Recharge Percent is to ensure that you are elemental bursting off of cooldown because you want to deal high DPS, heal your party, and apply the artifact set swirl reduction to everyone around you as often as possible. The Anemo damage on your goblet is just to deal more damage, and the attack percent on the circlet not only boosts your DPS but also increases your healing output. For the substats, you want to prioritize energy recharge first, then attack percent, and then your other percent values, and then finally flat stats. Now for the talents, you for sure want to be leveling up your elemental burst as much as possible, but the elemental skill is not always a must. Depending on your team composition, your AR level, and your access to resistance books, you might not want to invest in leveling up her elemental skill talent all that high. Lastly, if you're only using this build as a secondary support or DPS, do not, and I repeat, do not waste resources on leveling her basic attack talent. Just like the first build, any character that has pyro, cryo, electro, or hydro elemental damage to swirl with pairs amazingly with this build. Luckily for you, that's like 90% of the cast. If you want those big DPS numbers, use this build with someone else who can also reduce resistances like Xing Chou with his Constellation 2 or Xiangling's Constellation 1. This build is perfect for the Abyss because Jean fills out both the Swirl and the Healer role, but this build can also be terrific for blowing up bosses. Here's a clip of me using this build to reduce the boss's res and then blow it up. Let's 
たよ天童ここにある風よ私に答えるのだ So that, my friends, is going to wrap it up for my two Jean builds. Let me know down below in the comments if you want to see more builds from Jean because I do have more or if there's another character in Genshin that you'd rather see me cover builds for. And you know the drill. If this video helped even just the slightest bit, make sure to smash that thumbs up button down below and also elemental burst that subscribe button and notification bell because it helps support the channel a huge amount and I'm super appreciative to all of you amazing viewers. And that is going to do it for me. I will check you all in the next video. See ya! I've been searching for this all my life You're just my type I've been looking for a boy who can treat me right Your dark hair because I so bright They look into my soul and